Hey, fifth graders. Good morning. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about symmetry. So we've been talking a little bit about this as we did our, um, have we, as we've done our um, tessellations. So last week we talked about this idea of um, translating across the page. So we're moving our thing across the page and it copied itself and copied itself. And this week with our uh, symmetry, we were looking at something called a rotational symmetry, which meant that it also starts to repeat itself kind of on a spiral pattern, right? Like you start to see things spiraling. So I wanted to talk today about what symmetry is, just a definition. And I think you know this. I think you might have studied this before. And I'm sure, actually, you've probably studied this since you were young, like since you were in like first grade, you've been talking about symmetry. But I think it's important to kind of touch on it mathematically and how it starts to um, impact some of these kind of more creative and, and um, artistic endeavors that we see in the world and that we see around us. So we're going to start with this page. And um, I wanted to show you kind of like um, this diagram. How many lines of symmetry does each figure have? And we're going to look at each one, and, and I'm going to kind of come up here, and we're going to put on, let me get some color. Let's make this one red. And I also, I think should have changed this way, but let's see. We want to make this probably five. Let me see. I think that's good. So on this one, we want to look at this, and, I, and I'd like you to draw this out. I'd like you to draw this kind of like a heart, right? So I'm going to trace this heart, right? And my heart and the one on the page underneath it is a little different, but I'm trying to make it the same. So if I have a heart right there, which I would like you to draw in your notebook, I would like us to notice that in that heart, there is a line right through the center of it where it is the same or it should be the same. If I draw it well, it's the same on both sides. So that is my line of symmetry, right? There is one line of symmetry. That is the only way that I could fold that heart over and have it be the same. So if I was cutting that out out of a little sheet of paper, right, I could basically take, uh, let's take a post-it. I could take this post-it. I can, um, you see my post-it? I could fold it in half. So I've got a post-it. I fold it in half and I could draw on one half. I'm going to draw my, uh, I'm going to draw a little heart here. You're going to see what happens. If I draw Oh, my cat's here. It's like cat time, apparently. If I draw a heart, half of a heart, right? That's all I'm drawing. And I cut that out. What you're going to notice is that because I folded it, it's going to look exactly, not exactly, but it's going to, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Cat attack. Terrible. I'm, I, I swear, guys, I don't plan this. I don't, like, wait until the cat's ready to attack. But something about the fifth grade videos, these cats just attack me. I, I don't understand it. I, I make a fifth grade video and they come to attack. But the fourth grade or the sixth grade videos, no cat attacks. So I something about you guys. You guys are special. Okay. I cut this out. Notice what I have left. I have my frame here. I open it up. And because it's symmetrical in only one way, right, it's the same on both sides. See that? So it's the same on both sides. Kind of like my nose, my face, right? Little heart on my forehead. But this little heart that I cut out is then symmetrical across a line right down the middle, right? So the line of symmetry in this heart is where I can fold it, and it's the same on both sides. So when I fold this little heart, right, it's the same on both sides. So my line of symmetry is the fold line. And I'm going to draw that in right down the center. My line of symmetry is where it folds. So this is my line of symmetry. It has only one line of symmetry, one line. Because if I fold it this way, right? It's not the same. Like if I fold it down like this, like it's not the same on both sides. One side's like triangle. One side's got the two little kind of like the top of the heart. It doesn't work. So the only line of symmetry is right down the center. Okay. So that's, this is what I'm talking about, line of symmetry. Now with the rectangle in the second one, and I'd like you to draw this in your notebook, we have two lines of symmetry. We have one going vertical. So if I fold that in half, it works across that line. So I'm going to come in here. We're going to just draw this in. We're going to draw in this dotted line, right? That's our first line of symmetry right here, this one going up the middle. And then we also have a line of symmetry coming across, right? And this means that if I folded it on that line, it would look the same, top and bottom. The top part and the bottom part are the same. The right side and the left side are the same. Now, some of you might say, hey, wait, Mr. Papson, what about this? What about cutting it from this side to that side? And I'd say, try it out. If you make a rectangle and fold it across that side, will it be the same on both sides? Will it kind of fold into a perfect triangle? And I'm going to tell you, probably not. And the reason is it will work with only one shape. You know the one shape it works with? A square. 
That's it. It'll work with a square. But if it's not a square, it won't work. So on a square, I have the added lines of symmetry of being able to do this thing, right? You guys are right about this. If I add a square, I can do this. And then, yes, I have that extra, extra, the diagonal line of symmetry. But with the rectangle, I do not. So on this one, we would say that line is a no. It does not work. So this one only has two. Now, I have a little problem with the next one. I just want to tell you, I'm, I'm a little upset about the next one. The next one, they say it's a pentagon, and they say it has five lines of symmetry. I say they are wrong. And the reason I think they're wrong, their drawing of a pentagon is wrong. If you notice, the bottom, if this is a pentagon, it's got five sides, right? One, two, three, four and five. But the problem is the bottom side is long. It's too long. This side right here from there to there is way too long. That's bigger than everything else. So when I actually take off that shape and look at it and I say, wait a second, the bottom's way too big on this one. So this pentagon, I would say, only has a line of symmetry right down the middle. And the reason I'd say that is because it looks like the bottom line is too big. So what I might do is I might say, let's uh, box this thing out, and let's say, let's make a new one. Let's like go in here. Let's kind of draw in a box, and let's make a real pentagon here. And let's see if let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can do this. Let's see. Um, I don't know. You can't do it because you don't have the whiteboard and you don't have the little pen. All right, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to make a pentagon that's a little bit more even. So we got a bottom line, right? We've got a line going up here. It's gonna. I know it's gonna go to a point up here. Gonna make a line going up here. A line like that. And a line like that. Now I know that's not perfect, but that's a little better. I, I definitely think that's a little better. So I'm gonna make my lines of symmetry in pink here. Now I can say five. So one right down the middle. Another one going from here, across the middle to there. These lines aren't so great. Hold on. I might draw them as straight lines. Oh, no. I messed up. I messed up. Don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. With this one, let's talk about our five lines of symmetry. One. Okay. Then notice that went through one point and through the flat part. Another one goes through this point, through the middle, through the flat midpoint. Another one comes through this point through the middle, and through that flat part. So I'm at one, two, three. Another one goes through this point right here, through the middle, and through that flat part. That's four. I've got four lines, one, two, three, four. And then this one goes through that last point, through the middle, and across. That's five lines of symmetry. So one, two, three, four, and five right here. Now, why do I not count this one? because it's the same. So like if you look, like this one, number one, is the same from top to bottom. So I don't count it again. That's one line of symmetry. So this one has five, and it has five sides. Now how many lines of symmetry does this goofy looking shape have? N none, none, absolutely none. Like I can't cut this in any way and have it match up. It doesn't work. So I want you to draw those. Symmetry means that when you fold it, it would be the same on both sides. So maybe, should we write that in? I think you know that. I don't think we have to write that in. Now, I wanted to show you this artwork. I really like this. And I wanted to notice, I want you to notice all the lines of symmetry that this thing has. So if you notice, somebody made this, and the colors don't always have symmetry. Like for instance, up here they have some green, and over here they have green, over here they have blue, and that's not, but in terms of the pattern, the pattern is symmetrical, both down the middle, right? Across this way, right? It's also symmetrical from corner to corner, which means this must be a square. So this has four lines of symmetry. One, two, corner to corner, three, corner to corner, four. And it's a square. It's a four-sided figure. So that kind of makes sense, right? It also has rotational symmetry, which means that if I take one quarter of it and rotate it 90 degrees, it's the same. And rotate it again 90 degrees, it's the same. So this is kind of another example. And we might do a project like this. I like this. So what I want you to do is draw this out in your notes. You should have that. And I also want you to look at this one. This is another thing. I have a couple different things to look at here. Um, let me see that one. Eh. 
uh, do we want to do that or we want to do this? What do you think? I think, I think we'll do this one today. We're going to do this one. What I want you to do in your notebook is I want you to copy these. This, this, you might think this might be really easy. Maybe it's way too simple. Probably is way too simple, but whatever. You get to draw something that's fun. You're going to draw these. I want you to actually draw these and I want you to copy what they did and make the other side of it. So the dotted line is our line of symmetry. The, the solid lines are the ones you're copying. So if I was going to copy, let's say, um, this one, this complicated one, what I do is say, okay, how far away is this point from the middle line? And I'd try to line it up. I'd go straight across here and I'd say, well, it's about right there. And I'd draw a dot right there and say, does that look like it lines up straight across? Yes. Does it look like it's about the same angle? And I'd say, yeah, probably. So then what I do is I draw up here and I'm going to try with my white marker. I'm going to try to draw that. I draw that up there, right? And now I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to say, okay, I got a dot right down here, right? And I'm going to go across, straight across. I'm going to line it up over here. I'm going to line it up, try to line it up just below there. And now I'm going to try, you notice I'm trying to shrink down. I'm trying to get my hand to the exact right place so that I can connect this to there, right? So I'm going to try to copy this. And I, what I want you to do is draw these in your notebook. And I'm going to connect this up here. So now what I've done is I've tried to copy the outside of this, right? It's kind of like a trapezoid shape. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. I've got this line here. I know that this one kind of traces on the inside, like basically that comes out. So I'm going to make this one come out kind of similar. That's not a very good one. We don't, we, we can fix that. We can do better. I can do better. So I'm going to try that one there. I'm going to bring this one out here and then I'm going to go up. Okay. Now, your drawing in your notebook should look like that, along with the dotted line to show the line of symmetry. I would like you to complete, uh, let's see, there's 12 of them. 12 of them, that's not so bad. You can do that, you have time. It's an interesting pattern exercise. I think drawing these and then trying to reflect them is part of this idea of the lines of symmetry, right? So this is your job today. So I want you copying down that first note card with all those different things. And then I want you to draw these into your notebook. Okay. And you're going to turn this in for me. Um, I, I know it's a little bit of work. You might be like, oh, I hate drawing, but I want you to pay attention to how you kind of like carefully analyze how something is drawn and then you can draw the other half of it right now um if you have too much trouble with this so you think this is too difficult um maybe you can print it out maybe i can like send you um i can post this as an image and maybe you can print it out or maybe you can trace it right off your screen i know some people they put the paper over their um monitor screen and they pr and they and they trace it lightly they try to use a, a light pencil so they're not like damaging their screen but they try to trace it that's another idea that you could do um but i want you to do this for today so symmetry lines of symmetry and practicing drawing symmetrical patterns all right. All right, kids. Um, have a great day. I will also be assigning Khan Academy today. So please be on the lookout for that. Work on your tessellation and I will see you all on Wednesday. All right, kids. Bye, fifth grade.